In today's video, we're going to cover a new product from Lee and Lee, which is uh, quite outstanding right from the box. Now, when we take a look at their past Galahad AIOs, they were solid. I don't have to say anything about that because you saw the review, but today we have a quite important, I would say, improvement when it comes to cooling. This right here, compared to the others that they released, is the Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360 AIO, which brings loads of new stuff to the table in terms of specifications, design and, well, basically the box content. Because so far we didn't have the opportunity to unbox a Lee and Lee AIO and have the fans directly attached to the radiator, which in some terms I actually do prefer. Because, as I already stated in a couple of other videos, that this basically tells you the immediate approach for the radiator placement and how to do it actually. So let's start from the beginning because the Trinity name behind everything is because you can swap the cover, the top part of the block pump top and change it to your liking. So we have three swappable pump covers and loads of cool uh, lighting effects controlled via L-Connect 3. As you already noticed in my past videos when we were talking about the L-Connect 3, you can do that as well here. So we have the Dazzle mode which offers a completely diffused surface for both inner and outer ring. Sink hole replaces the inner part with the infinity mirror and then we have the Duo Infinity which is the aluminium outer ring with a double infinity mirror inner rings and the Lian Li logo at the center. So this is quite cool because it gives you an option to do whatever you want with your AIO. Now before we go into the performance segment and benchmarks and all the other stuff, because for this AIO it's pretty important, I'm going to go through the specifications because that is also the thing that you need to know when we're talking about radiator, when we're talking about the pump, the pump design, the cold plate and of course finally the fans because the fans also create a very important role here. So let's start with the copper plate, right? We have uh, a bit of a different design compared to the Galahad one. The skipped fins on the copper plate have been increased, uh, basically the spacing to prevent the buildup of debris over time. So basically when you take a look at the copper plate uh, skipped fin design, Galahad 2 Trinity Performance fin height is 1.9 millimeters as well as the Galahad one but the fin thickness is 0.06 millimeters compared to 0.1 and the fin spacing is 0.2 millimeters while the Galahad one is 0.16. Now copper plate seal has been revised with straightened pathways reducing turbulence and increasing the water flow. We also have the pump impaler change where the Galahad 1 motor speed goes up to 3200 RPMs. The pump impaler for the Galahad 2 Trinity performance has been increased from 31.4 millimeters to 36 millimeters in diameter and it features large motor with speeds up to 4200 RPMs. The impaler features 7 blade design compared to the 5 for the Galahad 1 which ensures a stronger water flow. Now it, there's also a difference when we're talking about the pump impaler from Galahad 2 Trinity and Galahad 2 Trinity Performance. Now the tube diameter is also increased, revised from 5.8 millimeters to 7 millimeters. And we also have a new design when we're talking about the fittings. They placed a 45 degree rotary fitting, which gives you ability to adjust the tubes a bit nicer because you usually get some uh, strange let's say pathways for the tubes and similar stuff like that. These fittings can also be rotated for the full 360 degree to adjust the tube orientation. Outstanding. Now in the box you get a thermal paste control film and spreader and this will help you to ensure the right amount of thermal paste to be applied for the contact between the copper plate and the CPU IHS. Now the radiator design, Trinity and Trinity SL Infinity are available with 214 360mm radiators in black and white, 27mm thick uh, radiators which feature single wave radiator fin, design of 20 FPI which is less airflow restrictive, resulting in excellent thermal performance. Now if we go with the Galahad 2 Trinity performance, it's only available in 360mm radiator, black or white, 
and it comes with 32mm of thickness with a double wave fin design of 19 FPI. The performance radiator performs more surface area to dissipate the heat and is paired up with high performance fans for more efficiency. Now I'm going to skip other Galahad 2 Trinity uh, AAOs and their fan specifications and jump right to the Trinity performance one. So the size is 120 times 120 times 28. They have a switch possibility in terms of low and high RPMs, static pressure, airflow, acoustic noise and everything else. So the fan speed in low mode goes up to 2300 RPMs while the high mode goes up to 3000 RPMs. Static pressure in low mode is 4.08 mm H2O, while the high mode is 6.99 mm H2O. Airflow in low mode is 81.54 CFM, while in high mode is 108.29 CFM. And of course, acoustic noise goes according to everything. So the low mode is 32.1 decibels, while the high mode is 39.9 decibels. In addition to that, you have a possibility to change the side parts of the fans, in which uh, can be upgraded with the side ARGB strip, which kind of... But you know, you have a performance version, you want a clean, nice, aesthetic look without any uh, ARGB madness. But there are other guys who actually want a static color, or actually they want an RGB madness. You could just swap these side panels on the fans and place the new ones right here on the side, giving you a possibility to have some crazy RGB madness or a single static color, depending on the theme going on in your PC. Now let's check the connections. We have SATA for power, motherboard USB 2.0 for uh, L-Connect 3 support, of course, and PWM for speed synchronization with the motherboard. Now there are also two ports available on the pump, which one is the ARGB to connect it to your motherboard and control it uh, with the motherboard software. And the one port that is closer to the AAO tubes uh, is for the fan PWM speed and RGB to be synchronized with the pump via L-Connect 3. Now when we access the L-Connect 3, you have a couple of uh, settings to adjust. You can adjust the uh, motherboard RPM synchronization. You have the fans connected to the pump header speed control where you can adjust the speeds and you have the real-time RPMs indication for the pump. At the bottom we have a pump profile where you can choose quiet, standard speed, high speed and PWM which you adjust uh, depending on your BIOS settings. Now when we go to the uh, ARGB connection part, you have overview of the CPU pump status, you have quick access to the pump speed profile, you have real-time RPMs again which is really handy and really cool to have and you can adjust, depending on the caps that you place on your AIO, you can choose the cap that you're currently using, so the lights kind of adjust to it, which is outstanding because it's not only that you're swapping the caps on your pump top, you're also adjusting the lights and how it will shine through that. To clean up the look, let's put it that way, to clean up the look of the tubes, even though with the 45 degree 360 <laughs> angled uh, fittings right here on the radiator, you get something really cool and it's a leather strap which is included to keep the tubes together. But basically when you have such um, fittings on an AIO, which is the first time to be honest to see on an AIO in general, is that you most likely won't need it. It's a cool accessory, it really does look outstanding and everything all together. But uh, there we go. So the prices are current at the day's launch. While the Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360 white or black goes at 169.99. I don't think I have to mention the socket compatibility it supports AMD AM5, AM4 and all the Intel sockets that you can imagine. So there's that. But let's go with the performance. Now since I don't have a high-end Intel Core processor with me, I use their statistics and their benchmarks for the 13900K results. I'm going to do and run everything on AMD Ryzen 9 7900X3D to check out and pair it up with other 360 AAOs. So let's check this out. Now they did a comparison test. They used the EK AAO Nucleus CR360 with the fans that you can find on the GA2 Trinity. And the pump speed goes up to 3100 RPMs, the fan speed goes up to 2450 RPMs, this is all maximum. Cinebench R23 score is 36067, 
CPU temperature package is 106 Celsius degrees, P core is 106 and the E core is 93 degrees, while the core clock is 5487 MHz. Galahad 2 Trinity 360 with the fans that come with it. Pump speed goes up to 3200 RPMs and the fans spin up to, as you know, 2460 RPMs. The Cinebench score in R23 goes up to 37,479. So you can already see here that it gets more performance. CPU temperature when we're talking about the package is 104 degrees Celsius, P cores are 104 and the E cores are 91, while the clock speed is the same. So you get lower temperatures, more performance. And then guys, we go with the Galahad 2 Trinity 360 performance one that I have right here. The pump speed goes up to 4202 RPMs, fan speeds go up to 2520 and uh, we don't have the Cinebench score unfortunately, but the CPU temperature package 98 degrees Celsius, P cores 98 degrees Celsius, E cores 87 degrees Celsius. So it lowers down the thermals by 8 degrees compared to the Nucleus CR360. Now I'm not saying anything against EKAAO, but their comparison showed these results for 13900K. So let's go ahead and check out my results with the MD Ryzen 9 7900X 3D and uh, check what we can expect, of course, in the 64 Extreme Edition, the results when we're talking about the thermals. And finally, let's check out the Cinebench R23 scores. So I used a bit bigger case than usual, but regardless of that, the performance is still here. And what I got from 7900X3D using the Lian Li Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360 AIO on it was quite remarkable, I would say. Now, I didn't fill up the case with all the possible uh, fans just because I wanted to play fair let's put it that way placed one 120 p28 at the rear and four at the front but the bottom one actually makes more sense for the power supply and bottom compartment regardless of that didn't place anything on the power supply shroud the original fans from the AIO are here right at the top and the results are quite interesting so when we compare the Galahad 2 Trinity performance 360 with the uh, Fantex Glacier 1 360 MP what we got is quite interesting so let's start first with uh, the scores from Cinebench R23 the temperature started at 79 uh, the first two tests and then the next eight finished at 80 degrees Celsius clock speed was constant at 4950 megahertz outstanding and then we go to the scores it started at 26233 then it immediately jumped on the second test at 26,527 and then the peak was 26,699. Now the best thing it stayed around 500 so 26,500 uh, and it was really constant. The 10 minute test, consecutive 10 minute test, well constant, in Cinebench R23 the temperature was at 79 to 80 degrees which was really great. So comparing it to Fantex Glacier 1 360MP, uh, it got 80 degrees as well, 4950 MHz, but the score were less by a 2 to 300 uh, Cinebench points. Now AIDA 64 Extreme Edition CPU System Stability Test, CPU went up to 86 degrees Celsius and CPU clock went up to 4800 MHz. The GPU isn't important in this scenario. And that's quite cool because Fantex Glacier 1, 86 as well, but the clock speed was a bit lower, so 47, 4775. So the results are amazing and I do have to say I'm really uh, impressed how it performs without a doubt. Uh, what I want to say is, well, installing it, it's fairly easy because you're using the brackets for the AM5, so if you decide to go with MD processor and install the Trinity performance on your PC uh, you just have to use the original brackets that come with the AMD motherboard so there's no screwing unscrewing placing other brackets uh, standoffs and all the other stuff you just remove the Intel brackets that are already on the uh, Galahad 2 Trinity performance place the AM5 ones or AM4 and just 
place the thermal paste of course on the processor and you can see it's actually at, at first it looks kind of, uh, really messy but then when you remove the plastic foil and the nice tidy part of the thermal paste is left behind really looks quite cool uh, one thing that I noticed with my model right here is you do have to untie the thumb screw uh, before locking the AIO to the backplate of the motherboard because they are tightened up. So yeah, just to have the unease of accessing and placing the cooler on the processor, do that before placing it. Uh, finally, what I wanted to add is all the cables that you get. Uh, don't be confused because they're quite easy. One ARGB cable is if you decide to connect something else to it. The male uh, ARGB cable is if you decide to connect something else to it. That the same thing goes for the PWM. Female PWM header goes directly to your motherboard as well as the ARGB header. Then you just have to connect the SATA power to your power supply and finally the USB 2.0 to your motherboard so that the L Connect 3 actually recognizes the Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360. As you can see in L Connect 3 you can adjust literally everything. So inner circle, outer circle, adjust loads of uh, presets for the RGB lights and swapping the covers from Dazzle Mode, the Sinkhole or Duo Infinity it's quite easy, you just have to twist them a bit, push them out, place the other ones and do whatever you wish or place them however you like. It's all up to you and your personal preferences of course. But uh, all in all, quite an outstanding performer. I'm really surprised how it performs and how and what benchmarks I got throughout the whole testing period because it really did took some time to uh, do it. So all in all, I think you already know what's going to happen. Uh, Lee and Lee Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360 got a PC Crazy Performance badge without a doubt. So yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have to say anything else because you'll be satisfied with the performance with the change of everything inside the uh, copper base, inside the pump, uh, inside the, uh, the radiator, the radiator fins, the radiator thickness, the fans, everything is changed up from the Galahad 1 to the performance one. Of course, we're going to have the Galahad 2 Trinity Infinity one as well, but I'll leave that for that video. As you can see right here, we have the V3000 Plus case, which will be coming out very shortly with a full detailed review. So guys, uh, do stay tuned, check out the links. First, check out the links for the Galahad 2 Trinity Performance 360. And then don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and notification bell, so you don't miss this V3000 Plus case. Thanks for watching guys, and see you very soon. Bye-bye.